record it in a different way. Perfect. Now the last Abu Mubandi one. This is a hundred dollar tournament. People are gonna face Abu Abu <laughs> against each other, and the first person that takes the Drake wins. There are no set rules beside that. Let's go start it. I mean, if you guys really feel like, do you feel like Claro State should play different champs? I mean, I definitely agree. They both agree, man. I don't know, do you want to switch it, man? Do you want Clarus to switch those champs? Because, like, it's kind of a rule that we don't switch champs that are already there, you know? I want to play Abumu, to be honest. Yeah, but it's not like about, like, what do people want to play? It's just random shit. Did you ro roll out? Yeah, I rolled already Abumu, you know? It was Abumu. I mean, if you feel like Clarus, I can re-roll, but... Don't know. I mean, we can, we can, I mean, you know, we can... Yes, yeah, Abumu, we don't... Yeah, that's the rule. That's what I'm thinking of. Like, it might be boring. But that's like just like a basic rule you guys have to follow up. No, I was thinking just for fun we could change it, but it's just like a part of the game, you know. You can't just change that main uh, aspect of it, you know. It's just like a very important rule to follow. I know it's... I don't know, like... Like, you don't need to be an MMO expert. I don't know what are you guys worrying about. Like, the champion is all that much not that hard. The clear is not that hard, to be honest. The dueling is not like... Like, so overall it's not that hard, you guys. You know, guys, like... Maybe a bit boring, but... It's not hard to play Amumu. <sighs> I mean, look, there is a skill expression. You got a hit cumin. Probably like Conqueror is my most recommended drone you can go for to be honest. It's like best in this type of the worst. <laughs> Crazy Amu invades, Amu invades Amu man. <laughs> this game would not be crazy. Waiting for the spectator's delay. I guess we gotta wait those three minutes, man. We gotta wait those three minutes. I feel like the best clear is still probably Raptor Scruggs. At most, not as people again level 1 e invade each other on Raptors, but. I guess I guess they just kind of flippy though, because it's. I feel like Amu has to farm so much. I feel like TP would make some sense though, no? I feel like a little bit of sense it would make. So then you can like TP to an objective. TP to get a wave, decal, something you know. Like TP makes some sense. But it unlocks at 10 minutes, right? So at 10 minutes you can TP wherever you want to. And I feel like it's gonna be a longer game. Because I'm always very slow at like killing the Drake early on and it's like very flippy to just like rush it. So I mean basically I feel like TP would be interesting. Sure other things provide you combat power but TP gives you more CSing, you know? And you can like freely like pick up waves and TP to Drake in case someone rushes it, so... It really comes down to that, you know, I feel like. Because you can collapse on someone, meantime they don't have abilities, you know, because like you see them on a the barge or something, and then it's just kind of like... I feel like it's just kind of like, um... Useful if they are on cooldowns and you collapse on them, because that makes up for the lack of that summoner spell that you don't have. The question is, do people go for Bami Cinder, MR, probably Bami Cinder, AP? That's even the best thing, even. 
It's like the best thing even Bami seen the AP. I'm all doesn't really Alright, so let's just type up more like this, see if I have good AP scanning, I think his AP scanning are just kind of shit. I think they're kind of shit guys. <laughs> so he has like a, it's like a 85% percentage 0 0.25, there's some armor and more scalings and mm -hmm. yeah, some AP scalings here and there. I mean, I feel like an AP build gives more clear speed, right, and some extra fighting power than... But the thing is, like, you can go Bummy, and you don't have to go Sunfire these days, you can legit go for the, uh, a more version of, like, Sunfire, you know, but you see, because that gives a lot of, like, minion wave clear speed, right, so... With Doran, we already got the cool Amu skin, though, he has, like, a... Looks like Amumu, but, like, more badass, or did they rework that skin? I'm not sure, honestly. <sighs> So one side has exhaust yeah, for all in scenarios, uh, most likely, right? So it cuts the opponent's damage. As we can see, the other one has ignite, bomb plating, and flinching. As we can see, unflinching makes a lot of sense, of course, just because like the opponent has a lot of CC in his kit. Um, two ability power, tenacity, slow resistance. You know, it's just useful against like CC. And the other one does have same bomb flinching, bomb plating, double AP, but HP and no anti CC. Now, why don't people go scaling HP though? I guess some would does some HP based damage, but I feel like it's just kind of low. <laughs> I feel like here scaling HP would also be interesting, no? Hmm. Alright, so solid starts. I think both of them are gonna start with E and start with the Raptor camps. Let's see what they do. Do they W start? Accidentally, I don't think so, right? Okay, most likely he start on both. W start! Wait, is W start evil? I think it's horse on Raptor, so once one started W, the other started W as well. Isn't he better, guys? And pretty much, yeah, on these camps, like, did, no, he is better. Because, like, you perma reset your ink, no? Because you can make your W second. <coughs> Can already see some type of Pepe game wait. Okay. Why did people W star though? I think he is just actually better. You are also more healthy during your clear on apps. Yeah, he is just better, holy. <laughs> Cause like so many raptors attack you. You see the ability itself, like the ability is cooldown reduces by 0 0.75 every time you get attacked, right? And the raptors, there are 5 raptors in the raptor pit, right? Now in here Archangel fall off a little bit in this game specifically. Fall off a little bit. Does he catch the thief? Does he catch the thief now? Dorebi could also arguably recall or get the bot wave. Does he get the bot wave or does he get his camp? It's a bit risky to get his camp though. It's a bit risky to get his camp, right? There's a ruby crystal recall already. Wait, did he miss his Q? He did miss his Q. So he does not do actually his red because he knows it will get invaded, which it doesn't actually get invaded at all. <coughs> so what does Archangel do next? He doesn't invades. He doesn't really take... He takes Cutter Scrap? Mm, I mean, that's... Well, that's like one of the worst value things, no? As there's like a... There's like a gigantic midway to pick up, but maybe he picks it up after. I guess it's also fine. Let's see if people pick up waves as well. There's a gigantic wave on top lane, but he's kind of far from it. That's where TP would help. That's why I said for CSing, look how much gold is getting missed out on. Then he TPs, then he gets his top side. Right? So just for CSing purposes. Because like people can't rush Drake as I said. Like it's kind of hard to rush Drake as Yamu. Well. You just don't have DPS actually in this champ to get it down. He will try to deal a little HP based damage, but you don't deal that much damage to the Drake to be honest. But well, like if he TP it, picked up the wave. Picked up his top camps maybe or some, no? Would be interesting. But I guess exhaust is also like really really good though. In all ins, right? So 
There are some ups and downs, I think. Let's see, one side does go HP, the other side goes a bit more on the AP side, because I think AP has more wave clear. The Ruby Crystal, the issue with Ruby Crystal is just simple, you know, you don't really... Does he smite? He should smite this. He, he did spare his smite. I think Archangel wins this, no? Or... No, I think the other Amumu wins, because he has AP, no? He has an extra Amp Tome. I think Doremi wins this, he has an extra Amp Tome, no? <coughs> or? No, Exhaust kicks in. Oh, he didn't smite the camp again, that was the problem. <laughs> Wait, was it? So he got damaged by the camp. He queued. Oh, he didn't have queues. He didn't have queue, and the other guy had queues, uh huh. Then he didn't smite the camp either, but I guess he only lose the, lost the Tinsy bit HP, uh huh. Uh huh, so he didn't smite for some random reason. And then. Um, but I don't know why he didn't kite towards his tower, so in case the combat doesn't go swell, he still gets to escape, you know, and get his raptors or something, you know? Because... I think, like, kiting towards this direction would be a bit more beneficial if he feels like the fight is not consistent. Mhm. <coughs> Wait, Doremi killed him, what? Why did I think Archangel killed him? What? <laughs> Wait, why did I think for a second Archangel was? <laughs> oh, because cause he almost killed him, huh? He almost got him. So actually, counting guys is a big item, Leandri. I was actually thinking of Leandri, because it's like the new demon Ikonamu, and it gives you lots of lots of damage, right? <coughs> Which allows you just to clear waves really quickly, you know, with EW. Uh, it allows you to have a lot of dueling power, right? Gives you lots of damage. So once I did go bummy, as I even asked, like, is AP better or is uh, bummy better, right? And uh, clear-wise and dueling-wise, it's a bit better actually to go for uh, an AP build. Um, like, the, the point of, like, bummy on Amumu is these days, it's, it's just like you're a tank, you know, with Sunfire, I feel like. That's the thing. Like, we, I feel like... I feel like Leander is just so much more broken. Like, he can go for the MR... I guess he doesn't go Sunfire, he goes for the MR Sunfire, but... I mean... I think he still falls off in duels to Leandri, that's the thing. <coughs> Does it get rushed? Does it not get rushed? We cannot speed up beyond this, there's no way this gets rushed. Or he... I don't know what's going on, guys. It's crazy. The bard is very soon expiring, so it's, it's always so risky, right? It's always so risky. I think people should get a... Uh, hmm? It's always a little bit risky, because the more time passes, the more likely one gonna rush it. Right? I think people are not taking a risk. People don't want to take a risk right now. Some of those, like... Almost like one of those survival <coughs> <coughs> games. I did actually ward again, okay. He got rewarded. So he does clear the wave, he probably should let the wave to come out a little bit now. <coughs> or whew. I think this is a bit risky, right? Uh, but I guess it's not too risky, because Amumu is not too quick at, like, finishing Drake, right? So, I don't think so. I think he has time to rotate now. But now he's getting quite far away from the camp, so I would just take these, no, and these. But I think he has time to rotate. Realistically, Amumu can't rush it so quickly, right? I feel like. You know what's weird? No one went for water walking, although it gives like a lot of AP and 10, 10 movement speed actually. But no one went for water walking, even though they perma fight in the river for the day. Because that gives actually a really nice spike as well. Then you can get cooldown runes as well with it. At level 8, you get like 10 cooldown, right? <coughs> Ooh. Oh no way, he recasts, right? No, I don't suppose the, don't suppose the other Amumu rushes it. He gets a blasting wand. Okay, 
He does get his mark traits, so not so good, you know. It's, those are also fine. Super good into Amumu. Counter to Amumu, counter his mark traits. It's not warded though, he didn't buy a control ward. Uh -huh, before he didn't buy a control ward for the Drake fight. Now the weird thing is, one side has a potion, the other side doesn't. This kind of gives like the contenders some anxiety, who's gonna rush the Drake. So they have to perma control it. Oh my god, wait, the aggros. It shouldn't be a big deal though, cause... It shouldn't be a big deal though. I think he just kills him, but I mean, no? I think he wins this fight. Or... Does he risk? Oh, he missed his Q. Who... So one... Both Amun players have even smite damage. Does he predict with his Q, I wonder? He does lose vi Does he lose vision? No, he still has vision, he didn't pull it correctly. He didn't exhaust or any. Blue team got it, which is the blue team. Did you? Who kills the who kills the other person? Well, I guess GG for the blue team. GG for the blue team. The Doremi is the winner. Oh, by the way, pro trick. Okay, guys, look at my screen. Look at my screen, para. So, obviously, sometimes you cannot smite, you know. I'm gonna pick a random champion. Look at this. This will help you. This will help your life. No, 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 you don't get it. It's not target champ. It's even better. It's even better than Chai. You cannot get smite gap anymore. He won't get my. He will, won't randomly click on 10 champions that are stacking on Baron or something. So, look, Riot Games did a new change to Smite, which many jungler players didn't read. Uh, basically, spawn a Drake any type of objectives like Baron, it works on any, anything and everything. Uh, look at this. So, when you're on top of the Drake with Amumu, you're like this. You're kind of prone to like accidentally click on Amumu, right? And so what people have to do as a jungler, you don't click on the drake, you click nearby it. You click here. And it automatically targets it, so you don't randomly click on the um, enemy amu. This works on Baron, this works on Herald. So look, here is the enemy champion, you, ha you, have, you have your smite ready, you have your smite can deal damage to champions, right? You have level 20 smite. And the enemy champion is very close, you know, to the Herald, to any type of objective. You could randomly misclick on the enemy champion, you know, you see how randomly you can misclick. But if you click away, it, it will always target the objective. You just gotta click close. Click behind it, so don't click on close to it, because you could misclick. Click just close, in the close proximity, and it automatically targets always the objective. It never randomly targets the... Uh, the uh, champion, even even if you have like level 20 smite, it doesn't matter, or tw you have like 20, you already got like 20 stacks in smite, or you finished it completely, it will always automatically target the uh, the objective, like Drake, Drake, uh, Peral, so on, so basically you should just click nearby, so you don't randomly, it's more important in rank where like 3 people are stacking on Drake, and then you're gonna randomly misclick, uh, basically just click nearby the Drake Baron, whatnot, and very close to it, and you can just um, you can just smite it. You know, it always targets the objective. But I have exhausted on D and smite on F. I wanted exhaust, not smite. But I have exhaust on D and smite on F. I mean, does the order really matter? They are point and click abilities. I insta smited Amumu, so they got to 90, and he smited it. Yeah, but that's the thing, like, don't click on it, just click nearby as I showed you, as I showed you in this custom game, it automatically targets the objective, so you don't randomly misclick, you know. I would have gotten it and never lost a smiter, but I didn't want, I didn't want a smite at all, I didn't miss. Yeah, but that's the thing, you wanna hit the drake, you don't wanna hit the other guy, and so you misclicked, you clicked on the guy, I think, no? Why did you click on the drake? Yeah, 
I don't know, actually I don't even remember who did you click on, but basically I can rewatch the replay.